This is Untitled One by the Icelandic band Sigurós. You're probably having trouble understanding the lyrics. And if you think that's because they're singing in their native language, you're wrong. No one's able to understand what's being said, not even the band. And that's because nothing's being said at all. It's complete gibberish. So what's going on here exactly? What you're hearing is called Vonlenska, or in English translation, Hopelandic. It's a made-up language created by the lead singer Jonzi. Now, calling it a language isn't technically accurate, as it doesn't adhere to the vocabulary, grammar, syntax, and structural rules of a normal language. Instead, it resembles the phonology, or sound, of the Icelandic language with a string of meaningless syllables. Jonzi likens it to the normal practice singers sometimes do when they know the melody, but haven't yet written the lyrics. It has a structure that I do sing the same things all the time, but there's no grammar. When I sing the songs that are in Hopelandic, I am singing the same words, the same sounds. It's more similar to English than Icelandic in some ways. It has a similar flow, but you can't translate it. Hopelandic was first used on the title track for their debut album, Vaughn, and that's where the language gets its name, as Vaughn means hope, and Lenska means landic, from Islenska, which means Icelandic. On their follow-up album, Jonzi again used Hopelandic on the track Olsen Olsen. But then on their third album, Jonzi sang all the lyrics entirely in Hopelandic. This album was originally called the Untitled Album, but it's also referred to as the Bracket Album because of the album cover. Each of the eight tracks on the album is left untitled. The album's packaging is completely devoid of any words besides Sigurós written on the cover. There's even a 12-page booklet inside the packaging with blank pages where lyrics would normally be. This creative decision invites the listener to create their own interpretation and meaning. It was never the idea of singing this gobbledygook language to acquire any special significance. It was really just a way of avoiding being pinned down to having to write words and then having those words tied to meaning. Words are finite. They're specific, and come with the inherent limitations of language. Hopelandic is the opposite. It's void of specificity, but not feeling and emotion. It's similar in style to scat singing in vocal jazz, where the voice becomes another instrument that reinforces the larger mood with its own melody and rhythm. It's also similar in style to the spiritual act of singing in tongues in its mystery and majesty. It reminds me of the scene in The Shawshank Redemption where Andy Dufresne plays the Italian opera for his fellow inmates. In this instance, the ladies were singing in actual language, but none of the prisoners knew the difference. The song is then elevated because of its mystery and majesty and points to some greater beauty, something ineffable. Without focusing on the lyrics, listeners are able to instead focus on the larger soundscape as it washes over them. The bowed guitar, Jonesy's booming falsetto, that's the magic of Hopelandic. Now to be fair, a vast majority of Sigurós' songs don't use Hopelandic. They're sung in their native language of Icelandic. I suppose I could look up the lyrics so I know what they actually mean, but well, I guess Red said it best. Truth is, I don't want to know. Some things are best left unsaid. I like to think they're singing about something so beautiful that it can't be expressed in words, and makes your heart ache because of it. This video is brought to you by Audible. I always love partnering with Audible because I'm the biggest proponent of audiobooks. I love how I can listen from all my devices, whether I'm in the shower, stuck in traffic, on a walk, or while I'm cooking dinner. Right now, Audible is giving my viewers a 30-day trial, which comes with your choice of one audiobook and two Audible originals for free. Just go to audible.com slash the elk or text the elk, one word, to 500-500 to start your free trial. Iceland is at the very top of my list of countries I'm dying to visit. I love the cold, expansive landscapes, the music from artists like Sigurós, Bjork, and of Monsters and Men, and I also love reading about their unique culture and mythology. Because of that, I can't wait to dive into Neil Gaiman's book, Norse Mythology, which has the brilliant writer putting his own fingerprints on the classic myths of gods, giants, elves, and dwarves. If you enjoy books on mythology, or you just love the work of Neil Gaiman, then I highly recommend you picking up this book. 
Again, this book or any book can be yours for absolutely free. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash the elk or text the elk one word to 500 500 in order to start your free trial and start enjoying audiobooks. Thanks again, everyone for watching and I'll see you all next time.